Okay, I wanted to do a little impromptu thing here with the viaduct and <clears throat> the bayfront connector. Um, a little, little close-up stuff here. I, I took the, the viaduct when I worked uh, over near Buffalo Road in a plant there for two and a half years. Uh, I often took the viaduct and I never took the uh, connector which is over there. It's not very walker friendly. Um, I've been walking all my life and I'm gonna be 65 in a couple months. Uh, you get a sense of what, what's good routes, what's safe. Um, so, so I never really weighed anything out, but you can see there's a little bit more to deal with up there. Uh, 12th Street, 12th Street uh, is kind of iffy anyway uh, for for kids crossing it, but that's that's rough right there. Um, I think I've I've walked across there once. Um, so my first time. This is the first time I've ever been on the Bayfront uh, Bridge, and I'm going to share my thoughts with you today. So this is the interchange. Uh, you can see there's a little. There's a few more factors here. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, across here. So we got this guy doing a left-hand turn. So I know to wait for the little white guy there. I'm not sure kids do, but I'm gonna go. All right, first thing I notice right now is uh, just our, smells like a gas station. That's, that's, that's the first thing that hit me. Smells like a freaking gas station. So what am I breathing here? Okay, it's uh, clear. That's nice. So they do have a barrier. I, I don't think I would want to be here when uh, school is letting in or out because there would be more traffic. Here you go. Okay. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Alright, so this is what the road looks like here. I don't know what happens if it gets too, uh... It's nice, it's nice that they, uh, shoveled it or they, uh, blew it out, but I just wonder if, uh, People end up having to walk here, out here in the berm. So, there's the bridge uh, from from the bayfront. You can see what it was meant to span. They they didn't used to have it fenced off, and the kids would. Um, they, they, let's just say they didn't have an understanding of the, what a tra train could do or how fast they could move. You saw the tail end of it right there. Okay. So I can do that. I think I gave you an idea of how far over it goes. There you go. So this is where they end up uh, on the other side. They almost come together, not quite. Okay, here's the here's the start of the viaduct from the south side. 
Oh, uh, the uh, shopping carts, let me just say. The shopping carts have become a symbol of the bridge for detractors. You see all those? And it's really unfair because it has nothing to do with the bridge. Um, this is what it has to do with right here. See that Liberty Recycling uh, people um, load the uh, load the carts up with metal. The scrappers do, and then they bring it here for uh, whatever cost they'll get for it. Um, last I knew, they would not accept metal that came out of a shopping cart. So I think that's why they end up at the foot of the bridge. Just a theory. But it's it's a better theory than thinking that somehow the bridge uh, the bridge is attracting them. Something I wish something I wish I would have caught, which just went by here, was a a plow, and the plow was spraying snow and what have you onto the area where pedestrians would be walking. But of course they would go by just as I had this turned off. Okay, we're going to take a walk on the viaduct. Smells like old grease. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. And there's the um, there's the Bayfront Bridge from here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a 360 here. Not very scenic, I agree. Um, but but it could uh, it could be even with a recycling center here serving its purpose. So you can see this is uh, this is I guess where the shopping carts end up here. Uh, here. Here's the bottom of the bridge. Okay, uh, that used to be wide open. Uh, kids used to cross. This is like 10 years ago or so. Um, so I assume they're going to block that off somehow. There's railroad tracks, several railroad tracks right after that.